Buongiorno. Today we're going to be making Scampi alla moda del ladro. Welcome to my home life. Look around, you can see my whole life. Welcome to my home life. All I need is what I got right here. We have here are some whole tomatoes um, what we want to do is drain out all the liquid from the can of tomatoes what I do is set them on a pan for roasting spread them out add a little bit of salt add some oil uh -oh. Oil allows it to get a good flavor. Over here, I based up some onion, very fine. Let our oil heat up. And as our oil is heating up, we usually sing some Italian songs. Go ahead, sing one. Gone day. Onion to your saucepan. You hear that sizzle? That's what you want. Saute the onions down at about a medium to high heat till they start to uh, release those juices and tenderize. Now this dish we're going to remove the shell. Now if you like you can leave the tail on. Now you can save this and make a fish stock with that to use with a soup or broth, but today we'll be discarding it. One thing I typically do is go back through with my knife, slice those down a little bit more. Here sometimes you need to go back and clean it a little bit finer and after we're done with this we will wash these off to ensure that they are clean. I would just simply run some under the water, cold water, and then set them aside, um, preferably on a paper towel. You don't want your shrimp to be wet when you're putting them in your pan. What it does is it doesn't allow them to cook properly. It's a little bit of olive oil in our baking pan. Place our shrimp. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can saute them in a pan if you want. You can actually even add them at the end of the dish. Um, the one thing you don't want to do is uh, overcook the shrimp. So what I'm going to do is cook the shrimp in the oven, I broil, lightly broil them, add a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper, a little bit of pureed garlic, and let that roast in the oven along with the shrimp. Place in the oven. What we're doing here is sweating down our onions. You almost want them to melt so that they join with the tomatoes. I'm adding our roasted tomatoes with our uh, sauteed onions. Make sure you get all that oil in the pan. That looks all right. Our shrimp is pretty much done cooking. I'm going to take that and add it to our tomato and onion mixture. 
we don't want to overcook our shrimp. So make sure you reduce your heat. And you just want this to come a little bit to finish off the shrimp. Finally dice up julian strips of some basil. Make sure you have fresh basil, not dry. And we'll add it to our dish. Olive oil, we'll pull it all together. Some olive oil on top. Mm -hmm. 